Hi, my name is Joshua Lynch. I'm a graduate of Central High School, and I'm currently a student at Community College. At Central High School, my teaching artist was I May Kelly, and my teacher was Ms. I think I would have, if I didn't participate in Young Playwrights, um, I probably would have spent a lot of time sitting at home playing video games and not really doing anything very productive. I think that's it, because um, through Young Playwrights, I met a lot of like really great people, like cool people, and I think um, uh, those the people we meet like kind of shape us, like the experiences and what we learn from them, just through like simple conversation. Like it kind of shapes who we are and how we think, and like it broadens our view. Um, I started the class. I I hated getting up on the stage. Like I didn't. I mean, I didn't hate it, but it was like <clears throat> really nervous. And it's like, oh God, I gotta do this. But now, like towards the end of the class, it was just like, yo, I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna have fun. I want to see people laugh, and I want to make people. Um, yeah, it's just if you saw something, it's like you would just give feedback on like what you think. It's like, was that? Do you think that line was like really honest to the character? Because like the vibe I'm getting from the character you wrote was more so they're kind of like this. I mean, but never trying to like dictate where the character go. Just like drop what you think, like what you felt from the character, what you kind of would like to see as the audience member. If the playwright is okay, I'm trying to get people. I know a big thing where I have hips like um trying to get people to be a little bit more nicer in that environment because um, and often in the classroom you have like egos and everything coming into plays everyone's like oh I'm on stage I was like I want to be the funny person I want to be this person and then sometimes that in order to be funny people tend to say little mean things mm-hmm. or you know what I mean never was um, mean towards anyone I never said anything mean if I had criticism I made sure that they knew that it was like genuinely criticism and mm-hmm. it wasn't it wasn't meant to hurt you or be mm-hmm. mean or anything and I tried to like display that with like my classmates and like even if I heard them saying something I'd be like hey you know you didn't have to say it like that it was hard because when when you write something you're like you feel so great because you wrote it and then you look at it and someone's like telling you like Look at it over and see if you see something you want to change. And it's like I don't want to change anything. I wrote it. Like I, you know, it's already awesome. I mean, but then you you sit back and you actually breathe and think, and then you look at it like through a different lens, and it's like, hey, I can't actually change something. You know what I mean? This this can be different, or this character cannot say that, or I can cut this line. You know what I mean? And it makes it a lot more. In the powerful. beginning, I tended to just write it and let it be. You know what I mean? But because when you think, I think a lot of time like before before I interact with young playwrights the re- revision was like okay you you hand in a paper to your teacher and they say oh it's bad if you don't revise it i'm gonna give you an f you know I mean? but then now it's just like you look at it and it's like it's not so much as you wrote something and it's bad it's more so like i wrote it and i think i can express it better and i can mm-hmm. make it clearer to the people it's not always a bad thing i think mm-hmm. revision is it's mm-hmm. a good thing and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be dreaded like you get it back it's like oh i wrote it already <laughs> and i gotta rewrite it it's, it's not always uh, work on it. Mm-hmm. I mean, would like encourage us to. Like, people, people would laugh and everything, but you would say, mm, "I like how that sound," or they like, "Oh, I think it could be better." It's just like, oh, or like, "Why did they say that?" Or it's like, "Why is it so? Why is this person not saying much?" Or you know what I mean? And it's like, "Why is it? It doesn't feel natural." So you would go back and like, then you would revise, and then you would hear it again, and you would piss your classmates off because it's like, Did "We read it like three times." <laughs> when I came into the class, the group, and the class, both, I didn't really want to be an actor. And then, as I met more great actors, and I saw that confidence that they brought. One was uh, Justin, and then I met. It was like it was just. Um, I was like, hey, that's that's cool. I like, I like the vibe. Like when when you would see them working together on the on on the student writings and everything, and they would act it out, mm-hmm. and you would see how they were collaborating, and how they they fed off each other's energy. It was just like, wow, that's cool. It's like I want that. Just to, like feed off the energy, and like we bring energy, and then you take it, and then you bring it back and you heighten it. I liked it a lot. I was like, that's, that's what I like about the act. Nothing has to like be one way. You know I mean? It's like anything. You can take liberty and have fun and like fun. bring your own perspective and your own experiences to it. And that's and that was another thing. It was like, wow, I'm going to act this. That's when we say, okay, theater's awesome. And then we did the, the, the One Act Festival at the mm-hmm. end of the year and that made me say, wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. You know I mean? So then when I had, when you came to me with the opportunity to be in the, um, the revision, summer revision, it was like, okay, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm definitely going to call it and like get involved with that because it was awesome. Then I actually did it, and it was like it was crazy. And it blew my mind. It's like awesome two weeks. And it was just like, wow. You gotta, you gotta, keep, gotta keep doing. It. I remember we did the summer retreat where I met so many people from there were so many different backgrounds mm-hmm. and everything, and people had different stories. And definitely like when people would write, 
when you we would share writings and everything, and people would tend to write about things, and it's like you'll see it, and then it's like, wow, I've never approached it like that. I mean, I've I've never thought. You know I mean, and it's just it's just it's hard to explain, but with like meeting so many different personalities, you hear so many views from people you like. It kind of it changes you. It definitely changes you. And people often think change is bad, but no, it's good. I mean, because we, we, we change. We're human beings. That's what makes us so great. We're, we have the ability to change. And I think, like, working through Philadelphia Young Playwrights, I met a lot of great people, and they've had a big impact on the way I think and um, how, like, how to write a play, how to, like, pull, like, inspirations from, like, the tiniest things. Mm-hmm. I mean, anything. Like, And I, I love this. It was like, uh, uh, everything has a story. Hmm. I mean, it's not only like the big stuff or like the grand stuff or you know what I mean. Or, you know, everyone has a has story. A story. Even, like the small store owner on the street, you know what I mean, or, or, the, or the person sitting on the bus or the man playing the the instrument on the, on the corner, or even like the politicians or whatever. Everyone has a story, and everyone and then that blended with like the, um with uh, the model of young playwrights is like like that everyone has a story, and then. A voice worth being listened to, worth being heard. So it's like everyone has a story worth being heard. I mean, so then that's just like wow. You know what I mean, and it made you want to write. And it's like just look at even like the little things that kind of go unnoticed and see like these can these are actually great people and everything's great. You know, everything. One thing I like is um, the idea of like meeting like young kids who were like how you were. You know what I mean? You didn't really have like kind of sort of not really a direction, you mm-hmm. like you, you come to them with like this great thing that you have and that you've experienced and you're just like, I wanna share that with someone else. I want them to be able to feel that, you know what I mean? And and then you, you, you tell them about it and then you see their excitement and it's like, Really that you did this? <laughs> it's like, Yeah, man, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, go for it. You know what I mean? And it's just like that's like the greatest thing I like about the youth council, just letting people know what you experienced because it was awesome and mm-hmm. it was a, it's a great ride that's still going. And it's just like you just want to pull people I think um with with Philadelphia Young Playwrights, it's it's just the the message is great. You have a voice and it's worth hearing. Mm-hmm. I think that's an awesome message because I know where I come from. It's like a lot of time, people feel as though they don't have a voice. I mean that's why they don't participate in class. Why they don't come to class? Why they're kind of pulled away from like the school system and everything, even in their own life. And I think that's like that message is just so powerful in and of itself. And then another thing, Philadelphia Young Playwrights, you meet all kinds of people, different people fun people, cool people, and um, I just think in order to grow, you need to meet different people, you need to move out and experience other people's ideas, and I mean, from, not only from your viewpoint, I mean, you have to look out and from this person's viewpoint and this person's viewpoint, and you pull it and you say, oh, well, I mean, I never looked at it like that, like, we hear their, their views, because we all have different experiences, and sometimes we don't have experience, we haven't had the opportunity, and it would be impossible for us to experience something from someone else's perspective so they come and they give us that perspective and that helps us grow mm-hmm. and it comes as more open-minded people and that's definitely what I got from Philip from Playwright. Hi this is Christine MacArthur I'm, I teach at Central High School in Philadelphia um, and last year I worked with Ima Kelly as my teaching artist and the student was Joshua Lynch. Okay um, well because this was the first year we had worked with young playwrights. I had to deal with students, frankly, that did not want to do this at mm-hmm. all. And they did not expect to do this. They weren't told they were going to do it. They thought they were going to be doing a musical. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So they, they entered the class thinking it was a musical, and then they found out they were going to be writing plays. So it held an awful lot of resistance. Um, <clears throat> but I, and I needed to have this work. So it did, you know, and, and I worked with Aimee a lot on um, working with the students to try to get them interested in writing. And um, we just kept giving them different brainstorming activities in the beginning to get them in. Um, grading, we, 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 had, we started establishing immediately a very loose kind of, mm-hmm. I wasn't grading like I normally did. I um, basically told students that they had deadlines to get things done, but in between that, it was kind of left open. We also told them they were free to write about anything they wanted. Mm-hmm. There was no holds barred as far as language or other things, which was totally, you know, for me as a teacher. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I think that I learned that you have to kind of loosen up a little bit to have the students continue on to do things um, and also give them more freedom to explore ideas. Um, And then that kind of did pay off in terms of eventually their kids caught on. But there was a long stretch of time where I was fighting uh, resistance a lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, I did use grading finally as a way of getting them to do things. Uh, There was just 
just to get them to get that first thing. And I guess also though telling them constantly, the hardest part is, is getting it on paper. Mm -hmm. And I think what was really wonderful, I don't know if this kind of goes with the question of me, but when, um, when we brought uh, Ms. Hudez in to talk to the students, and I remember one of the things she told them was that it was so hard to do the first draft, and that wasn't the fun part. So I kept like, that was like a mantra, you know, this isn't the fun <laughs> part, you've got to get through this part. And uh, actually, once we got through that, we were quite, when we got into the rewriting stage, things got a lot easier. Um, I made it an awful lot of activities with mm -hmm. the students that you know I hadn't done before, mm -hmm. which was great, which is a way of creating a esprit de corps. She, mm -hmm. she did a lot of warm-ups in the beginning, especially in the beginning. Uh, she was pretty tough, I have to mm -hmm. say, too, mm -hmm. which, you know, I find that difficult sometimes in, in theater to be a balance between tough and, and like, you, you have all this freedom to express yourself, but then how do you make people that are not going to do things mm -hmm. do things? Mm -hmm. And she had, she had a great way of being really uh, demanding, which I tried to copy. Um, and I think we worked together dealing with resistance in there. Um, you know, I think that if, if I hadn't had her there, I don't, it's, it would never have worked, mm -hmm. truthfully. Mm -hmm. um, there was just a lot of resistance from the students. And we had 30 people in that class. It was, a, it was one of the larger drama mm -hmm. classes I've ever had. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but we had 12 students that were seniors. And in our school, a lot of the seniors take drama because mm -hmm. it's an easy A for them, mm -hmm. they think. And they don't really want to work. Mm -hmm. So we also had that kind of thing going on and she was really good working with him he was just a really great all-around mm -hmm. person he he had had so much leader leadership skill now here's he's another he's a person who's a great example of someone who might didn't see it that way when i mm -hmm. came into this class mm -hmm. and i saw him really grow that mm -hmm. in that direction mm -hmm. um, the kids really respected him mm -hmm. he he had this great way of he was very quiet he mm -hmm. never would yell had a great mm -hmm. way though of quashing any kind of dissension from mm. students or negative comments people mm. would have. Mm. Um, he always had something great to say, but it was never really loud or outspoken like some of the other people. Um, it was just, but it was very strong so that everybody listened to him. So mm. he quickly became the mentor mm. of, the, of the class and the leader in, a, mm. in many ways. Um, and, and he was a senior too, so he was not following that trend. Um, he was, uh, just like I said, he was always prepared. He never missed deadlines. He mm -hmm. always got his work done. He followed through with everything. Um, he did the revisions. He did everything. Um, I'm amazed at how creative they are. I really am. I mean, yeah, it's, the students come up with a lot of ideas, and I, I was also amazed at how intuitive they are to understand what's wrong with a the play. They had much experience in theater at all. And yet most of them could really pinpoint the same things I would see immediately. And, and I thought, wow, this is really cool. They, their intuition, their ability to understand um, what's right and wrong and, and, and where to go and their suggestions I thought were really, really good and, and right on. Um, and I was amazed sometimes with that. I'm also amazed that sometimes I get in the, this class, I have to say, I do not get the, the top stellar students because they're all taking electives in bioscience or whatever. Um, so I get kids that are not maybe at the academic top of the class. And so what I see them doing um, is actually being really smart, you know, and showing how smart they are in a different way, you know, being artistic. And um, it's, it's very exciting. Students, first of all, I gotta say, when the kids all got their feedback this fall, they were all coming running into me mm -hmm. and showing me the stuff they wrote. And practically every one of them is really pleased. So I would have to say that that's true, yeah, that they yeah. really, and then the winners, um, especially Princess, I think, mm -hmm. what, she's very, in fact, I'm gonna bring her back and, and some of the other girls to talk to this class. Okay, like one of the things that was really, really, uh, over, I think overwhelming for me as a teacher when I was working with young playwrights is that uh, I, I did discover how much I love to write. And this was something I did when I was younger, but I never did it again. <laughs> and, I, and I also realized, I think through the, well, the, the first day that we went for the um, workshop was illuminating for me because I, I, was, I found myself writing very easily and it was really so much fun. And so I use this a lot in my teaching. If I had not done this, I kept telling students, you know, this is going to be so much fun once you get to this. If you just do it, you'll have fun. And there's nothing more like that feeling of, of actually creating something you wrote. So, that, I mean, for me, that, that was to learn that, what it was like for me and to be able to transfer to them. Um, is, is, I think I learned that in general about all teaching, that you have to do something to really understand how it should be done. Um, and then you have to also experience it to be able to exp explain how exciting it is, not just an assignment. Um, and that was like a very overwhelming thing for me to learn. And I, I might change my life, truthfully, because I truly am thinking about being a playwright after doing this. I've written three or four scenes. 
And um, I, I started partaking this year in a lot of the exercises that we were doing, as well as having them do it. I was doing it myself. Um, and I think that carries away to a lot of teaching. You know, when I have students write poems, now I write poems. So it, it was a really great experience for me to do that. And, and also to, I mean, I, I think to learn with the stress. It's so easy as a teacher to assign things and um, expect deadlines and you're not really doing it yourself. So you don't understand what it really, all the blocks, and it makes it easier to work with students who are having problems when you've done it yourself as well. Um, and I think that's one of the big benefits for myself as a teacher. Well, I just think it's a terrific program. I mean, I think that the students in, don't really get the opportunity mm -hmm. to express what they feel. They just don't. And they, there's very little creative writing in, in, in Central. Um, and what there mm -hmm. is is only done in a creative writing class. But this is, and even that's much more structured. Um, and they're not allowed to really talk about anything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I thought, and then there was also the idea of, uh, when I advertise this class, I call it making theater, mm -hmm. uh, creating theater, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you're going to write your own plays, mm -hmm. but you're also going to perform in them. Sure. And, um, you know, improvise as we revise and all that kind of stuff, which is, uh, you know, totally different from anything else they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's just really a different opportunity for them.